Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you my go-to full coverage slash long wearing foundation routine. I'm also not trained in this at all whatsoever. This isn't any like professional techniques. Um, this is just what I've learned over the couple of past years um, myself in trying to invisibleness my chin. <laughs> um, but these are just a few techniques that I've learned myself from experience um, that really work. So I hope you guys enjoy. So I feel that while you have acne um, and you are after a full coverage look, you definitely also need it to be very long wearing. And because let's be honest, pimples have this like horrible habit of just being able to wipe all makeup off your face and it's so frustrating but the very first thing that I need to recommend to all of you is definitely use a primer so my favorite long wearing um, primer is definitely the pore professional by benefit some may argue that filling in your pores may increase the chance of acne and all of that but to be honest I haven't found that um, I just think this is the best um, at long wearing coverage. It definitely holds down your foundation really really well and it's also very mattifying which um, is also quite good for this purpose. So I'm just going to first of all go in with that and I'm just going to concentrate it around the areas where I do have the most issues. And so just concentrating that around my T-section and the areas where I do get breakouts. Now because the foundation that I'm going to be using is actually a very matte finish itself and it's quite drying, I'm also going to be adding a more sort of Julia um, primer over the top of that. This is completely um, just personal preference, um, but I'm going to be going in for Gloomy Magique by L'Oreal. It doesn't really serve a purpose except for the fact that it just, um, I feel like it makes my skin look a lot less um, matte and dry. Okay, so for foundation now, my absolute go-to foundation for full coverage and long wear, 100% um, is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I only wear this on very specific occasions. Um, I find that a lot of other foundations, they do work well, but this is definitely just so heavy duty. That's the only word I can use to explain this. This is like heavy duty foundation. It's kind of a little bit like paint on your face. Like it actually even smells like paint. Probably not good for you. And for a brush now for full coverage, I would really recommend that you use a really sort of dense brush. Um, I feel like density is definitely the key when it comes to covering um, blemishes. I would recommend a beauty blender, but if you don't have a beauty blender, want any of these sort of Sigma slash Zoeva, anything will do. And the technique I'm going to be using instead of like a rubbing motion is going to be a patting motion. So as you can see by patting the foundation on with a dense brush, instead of sort of moving the foundation around, you're definitely just putting it in place and just adding layer upon layer of the foundation on top of the area, which I think is super, super effective. And that's almost a miracle in itself, like it's already gone from that foundation alone. And then just for a final little bit of coverage, I like to go in with my fingers and a little bit of foundation and just once again pat over the areas where I have the most issues. It's great because your fingers will also sort of um, melt the foundation more, so even if you're not adding any more foundation, this is a good way to finish it off, just because you can melt the foundation into the skin a bit more, and it just makes it look a lot more natural. One problem with Estee Lauder Double Wear is that you can definitely see that you're wearing foundation. It's definitely a nighttime sort of um, foundation because it's quite thick as you can tell but it does the job and it doesn't look too cakey I promise you but you can definitely tell that you are wearing makeup on your skin. So now for concealer, um, I just first of all want to apologize that I'm not using very many um, drugstore products in this because these are honestly my favorite products that I use and I really wanted to just be honest with you guys and tell you what I know from experience. Um, so I'm gonna like open up down in the comments for you guys to go down below and I really want you all to tell me what is your favorite full coverage products that are drugstore items. So if anyone's um, finding that the products I'm using are a little bit outside their budget, go have a look down in the comment section and hopefully someone will have written um, a better alternative for you guys. But for concealer, I'm going to be taking um, my NARS Creamy Concealers. These honestly are the best full coverage I've 
ever used in concealers in my life. So I'm going to be starting off first of all with the colour Honey and it is a little bit too dark for my skin tone so I'm going to mix it up with a little bit of the lighter as well. Um, and when you're concealing, even if you're going to be doing a brightening situation as well, I would really recommend that you um, put the concealer on the areas that need coverage first because then you can leave it to set a little bit while you do the other areas and that way the colour will have already set into the skin enough that it won't move too much and you won't lose the coverage from the foundation. You really want to set it in place so you're really just going to blend out the edges afterwards once it's already half dried on your face. So I'm just lightly and quite roughly, I can't even talk, I'm going to just lightly and quite roughly um, pop that all over the areas that I have obvious pimples still. And patting again because if you start rubbing it'll actually rub off the foundation. Um, and then I'm just going to also do my highlighting routine as well. And I'm just going to take my um, creamy concealer in the shade vanilla and I'm just going to do a couple of little triangle situations or lines, I don't even know. <laughs> so then I'm going to be taking my Sigma um, Tapered Kabuki brush, looks like this, perfect for under eyes, and I'm going to be blending out my um, concealer. This is another thing is I really recommend again, a very dense brush. Taking my little um, precision angle, I'm going to very, very gently pat over the pimples um, and try and blend out the edges. I'm going to try not to actually touch the reddest area of the pimple. I'm going to let it sort of go around to blend out the edges more. So as you can see, the pimples have all but disappeared from my face. You can obviously still see that there's a few little like lumps here and there, but there's really not much we can do in that situation because there's obviously no way to like shrink down pimples completely. Um, but it's definitely done a really good job of coverage. So finally, I'm going to be using a powder just to set my face um, over the areas where I put the concealer. And I'm going to be using my Stay Matte by Rimmel. Um, this is definitely the most long-wearing powder that I have come across. It has the best matte coverage and I'm just going to very lightly, very lightly, only the tiniest little bit of powder, um, I'm going to powder over those areas. Once again, patting. And honestly, it's like the smallest amount. And I want you to also go over all the areas where you put the concealer before, where you're likely to get oily. Then one last step, I'm just going to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is a very long lasting setting spray, it sort of just sinks in your skin and really just sets it in place. And I find this is really, really effective for long nights and long days that you just know you need your makeup to last. So just do a couple of spritz and you're finished for the night. Oh my god. Why is it spraying fully? <gasps> Okay, I'm having technical difficulties with that. It's like spraying out in one line and I don't know how to fix it. Um, but I, yeah, I would finish with that um, and if it worked, that's great. So I've just gone ahead and finished off my makeup run, set my face a little bit, um, and here is the finished look. And as you can see, you can't see any pimples. <laughs> I love this look. I love this foundation situation. It is honestly my holy grail go-to, can always depend on it. Um, these products I can always depend on to get me through the night um, and to hide those horrible red things that like to come and invade our faces. Um, so I really hope you guys learned something, enjoyed this. Um, the question for this week's video, do not forget, um, I want you to go down below and I want you to write down for me what your favorite full coverage and long wearing um, makeup products are that are by a drugstore brand because I really just wanted to include my personal from experience favorite things and I know work but I know a lot of you don't have the budget so I really want you to go down and write down below if you know anything that's awesome I might try you never know I might have a drugstore tutorial in the coming like months or something the same thing if I try out a few 
Um, but yeah, go down and have a look in the comments if you are on a sort of like lower scale budget. But yeah, I will see you guys all next week and I hope you all have a fabulous day. <laughs> I'm just a bird already gone